The US dollar index has started a new week recovering from a massive sell-off. The US currency closed the previous week under pressure as data supported hopes for an interest rate cut. Non-farm payrolls rose by 275,000 jobs last month, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said in its employment report on Friday. January's data was revised downward to show 229,000 jobs created instead of the previously reported 353,000. The unemployment rate rose to 3.9% in February after holding at 3.7% for three consecutive months. On a Monday, the US dollar index regained some of its wide and traded near 102.80 as the traders had already shifted their attention to new important data. Tuesday's trading promises the market more clarity on the US price pressures. CPI data will be released tomorrow along with the other crucial economic releases. In our video review, we will tell you which macroeconomic reports to watch. You are watching the Traders Calendar. Traders will pay attention to the OC on a Tuesday morning. The Asian session will see the release of the updated NAB Business Confidence Index. Like other currencies, the OC benefited from a broad dollar sell-off following the release of the employment data. With the Monday's calendar empty, the OC dollar pair retreated from a Friday's highs and settled at, one, at a 0.6615. Last week's data confirmed that Australian consumers are suffering from a high interest rates and cost of living pressures, while housing investment levels continue to decline. Analysts expect the economy to continue to slow in the coming months before picking up in the second half of the year. As a result, market estimates for the Reserve Bank of Australia's first rate cut and now targeting August 2024. According to um, National uh, Bank of Australia, Australia's business confidence index improved slightly to one point in uh, January 2024 from an upwardly revised uh, zero the previous month. The improvement was mainly supported by the manufacturing and the construction sectors, while sentiment in the wholesale and retail sectors declined. However, overall business conditions weakened and fell below average due to declines in sales, profits and employment. Analysts expect the index to improve slightly in the coming months as the Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to cut interest rates and inflationary pressures is. However, Tuesday's data may reflect a decline in the business confidence index, but that forecast is for the coming months. If the data is in line with the forecast, the Aussie could come under pressure, while a positive change in the business confidence index could be interpreted as a bullish signal for the Australian dollar. However, the volatility spike due to the data release may be short-term, as the major market movements are expected during the US session. In the European trading, investors will assess fresh reports that will reflect the state of the British labour market. On a Monday, the pound dropped by 0.21% to 1.2841 after surging by 1.6% last week, as investors bet that the Bank of England would be slower to cut interest rates than the European Central Bank and the United States Fed. Now, futures markets show that traders believe the Bank of England's first rate cut is likely in August, while the ECB and the Fed are likely to ease in June. The pound's slight drop came after data showed the UK labor market slowed sharply in February, as Recruiters reported the biggest drop in demand for workers from employers since the pandemic in early 2021. The Recruitment and Employment Confederation and the KPMG said that monthly staff demand index fell 
to 46.9 points in February from 49.4 in January. Starting salaries for permanent staff rose at the weakest pace since March 2021, a development likely to be flagged by Bank of England officials as they look for evidence that inflation pressures are easing before voting for an interest rate cut. In line with the other signs that the UK's labour market is cooling, Thursday's Bank of England survey showed that companies expected to add staff at a slower pace than before. Many economists expect official data on Tuesday to show a further slowdown in wage growth and the number of unemployed. According to the February report, the UK employment rate stood at 3.8% and the number of unemployed people aged 16 and over reached 1.32 million. This was down slightly from a year earlier. At the same time, the, the share of the economically inactive population was 21.9% and the total number of hours worked well slightly from a year ago, but increased from the previous quarter. Experts predict that Tuesday's report will show an increase in the unemployment rate to 3.9%. Average wages are also expected to remain unchanged at 6.2%, and the wages, including bonuses, are expected to rise slightly to 5.8% from a 5.7%. Overall wage growth has slowed in recent months, but policymakers will be looking for further progress. If the UK unemployment and wage growth data comes in stronger than forecast and above expectations, the pound could strengthen significantly. However, if the data is weaker, the pound dollar pair may remain under pressure until the release of the US inflation data. On a Tuesday, investors will digest the fresh German inflation data, which will be released in the morning and could affect the euro dollar pair. This will be the first in a series of CPI reports from the major eurozone economies this week. And given Germany's economic wide, it will be the most important, while subsequent data will help traders complete the EU inflation puzzle. Germany faces a number of challenges in 2024. According to the latest data, the country remains in recession and economic growth is not expected. Challenges such as geopolitical risks, high interest rates and a slowing global economy are widening on business investment sentiment. German inflation slid to 2.9% in January 2024, down from a 3.7% the previous months. That was the lowest level since June 2021, bringing it closer to the European Central Bank's 2% target. Analysts expect inflation data to be released on March 12 to show a continuation of the trend of slowing price pressures. According to preliminary estimates analyzed, the consumer price inflation plunged to 2.5% in February from 2.9% the previous months, and this would be the lowest inflation rate since June 2021. The data is expected to reflect the slowdown in food inflation and continued declines in the energy price. A stabilization or even a decline in inflation could be seen as a positive signal for the economy, pointing to the possibility of a sustained growth without any additional inflationary pressures. If the data show that inflation is declining, this could lead to a weaker euro against the greenback, as investors expect the ECB to ease monetary policy. On the other hand, if the data comes in higher than expected, it could strengthen the European currency. Tuesday's main event will be release of the latest inflation data from the United States. Last week, financial markets digested both the fresh statements from a Fed Chief Jerome Powell and the strong employment data. During his speech, Powell highlighted the need for a cautious approach to further reducing interest rates. 
which traders interpret, interpreted as a signal of a potential slowdown in the pace of a monetary policy tightening. These comments, together with the stronger employment data, led to a decrease in the US dollar index, which was trading near the 102.8 mark. Tuesday's data could help answer one of the key questions that markets are concerned about when the Fed might begin to lower interest rates. Investors have reduced their expectations for the number of interest rate cuts in 2024 amid ongoing concerns about the strength of the economy, which could rekindle inflation. Recently, Powell told Congress that a reduction in the rates will likely be appropriate later this year if officials gain more confidence in a substantial decline in inflation. The Consumer Price Index report for the US for February to be published on Tuesday is expected to reflect a 0.4% month on month increase in the price pressure and maintain the annual rate at a steady level of 3.1%. Additionally, separate macroeconomic releases on the core inflation are expected to show a 0.3% increase in prices, excluding volatile components, which uh, would bring the annual rate down to its lowest level since early 2021 at 3.7%. A slower core rate um, would complement the softer conditions shown in the February employment report where unemployment reached a two-year high of 3.9% and allowed the Federal Reserve System to lower rates in the coming months. Today, most analysts and investors expect the Fed to cut rates by 25 basis points four times this year, starting in June. However, the soft employment report increases the likelihood that the FOMC will instead begin a cycle of easing as early as in May. If the CPI figures are lower than expected, this could lead to a further reassessment of Fed rate expectations towards an earlier reduction, which would weaken the dollar. Otherwise, if inflation is higher than forecast, the US dollar index could once again secure above 103 points. The midweek trading session promises to give traders a fresher perspective on the outlook for the UK economy, which has been in a state of stagnation for almost two years following the pandemic downturn. The Bank of England has confirmed that that policy will need to remain restrictive for some time to come. Notably, the Bank of England has maintained its view that it will be difficult for the UK economy to achieve significant economic growth in the coming years, despite a modest increase in the annual forecasts. Ahead of the release of a new UK uh, GDP data on March 13, the latest GDP figures published by the Office for National Statistics indicated a contraction of 0.3% in the fourth quarter of 2023, following a decline of 0.1% in the previous quarter. This was the second consecutive decline, indicating a slowdown in economic growth. In 2023, GDP grew by only 0.1% compared to 2022. Declines were seen in all three main sectors – services, manufacturing and construction. However, the upcoming report for the first quarter of 2024 provides some optimism. Analysts suggest that the data could show that the recession in the UK was a short-lived and that the country's economy is beginning to recover. The GDP growth forecast is 0.1% and this will be an important signal for the government of Arisha Sunak, which is under pressure due to economic difficulties. Forecast for the 2024 suggests moderate GDP growth of 0.7% for the UK, following an expected growth of just 0.6% in 2023. Positive data on Wednesday could boost confidence in the economy, while weaker GDP growth figures could lead to a tightening of a policy and a slowdown in investment, which in turn could contribute to the growth of the British pound. This was a brief overview of the most important economic events from InstaForex analysts, follow us and make hefty profits from your trades.
See you online soon.